I'm doing in this drill, I'm using two quick dribbles to go across as I'm starting out with a high dribble up at hip height. So when I slow this down, it's a high dribble, one, two to cross over. One, two. High dribble, one, two. High, one, two. So I get to work on getting that pound dribble power, which is that straight up and down bounce. And then working on the quickness, using the fingers, not just the tips of the fingers, but the entire fingers to dribble that ball two times quick and low across to the other side of my body. Sometimes I get questions from players asking about, do you only use your fingertips to dribble? I've never heard of that before. That's a myth. You dribble with your hand. Your palms going to touch the ball sometimes. Your fingers touch it. Your fingertips touch it. Dribble the ball. Your goal is to bounce the ball and keep control of it. So do what you got to do. There's no certain body part that you have to use or can't use. That's stupid. It makes no sense if you really think about it when you ask that question. So now when I'm going full court, I start moving. Same thing. It's a high dribble, two across. High, two across. So this is a thing to work on, keeping yourself low. Get low with your dribble. Arch your back is what I was talking to my trainer about. This arch your back and you will get more support for your lower back when you're doing drills like this. Arch your back, stick your butt out kind of like you're doing a squat and poke your chest out forward. Same thing as you do when you're doing a squat. It'll give you more support for your lower back. Hit that thumbs up to like this drill and work on your game.